Beth, is there something going on with this doll that you need to let us know about? If anything paranormal related were to happen to this doll, at the What is up fam? Welcome to another haunted adventure. This is gonna be a very unique and different video. I have one of my best friends ever, Patty from the G Team, here to join us. Now, if you are not subscribed to my vlog channel, this is why you have to be subscribed. I wanna say like maybe a week ago, I had a fam of mine send me a haunted object and not just any other haunted object, one with a real unique story. This doll is tied to a woman that in the 1930s murdered somebody. Yeah, you're not gonna wanna miss this. I'm gonna share with you a lot of the history and I'm gonna share with you what has been happening since having this doll in my possession. Make sure to check out my friend Patty from the G Team. Link will be down below in the description. Let's do this. Before we get into today's video, I want to give a massive shout out to Dashlane for sponsoring this video. Now what is Dashlane? Dashlane is a safe password manager that will create strong complex passwords that are difficult for hackers to access. If you're watching this video, you're probably online just as much as I am and you should definitely be concerned. Before using Dashlane, I used to use the same password for just about every single site, which makes it easier for your private information to be stolen online. Don't do that. No more mistakes, no more forgotten passwords, and their autofill feature makes it convenient when filling out forms, shopping online. Dashlane also has a built-in VPN so you can safely browse the internet on unsecured networks. There are people right now that are on the dark web selling personal information. With Dashlane's dark web monitoring, they'll let you know right away if there's a password that you need to change. Dashlane is available on all devices, including Apple, PCs, Androids, Chrome, Safari. Download Dashlane right now using my link below or use promo code OMARGOSHTV to get 10% off Dashlane Premium. Special thanks again to Dashlane for reaching out to me and helping us keep our information safe online. Let's get back to the video. So in case you weren't at that live stream, I'm gonna read the letter that I got, which included, her name is Thumbelina. And this doll is, is really unique. I was mentioning to, to Patty right now that uh, if you look at her eyes, they're not making eye contact with you. They're actually kind of looking off to the side, you know? And I was like, is she, like, what is she looking at? Mm -hmm. Is she looking at a spirit? I don't know. But this is Thumbelina, and I have the story here. Um, it was actually given to us as a gift from Emily, is her name. And, and she's a young girl, and this this is her right here. And she has Thumbelina in a box right there. Let me show Patty's camera. I'm going to read to you the letter and I'm going to share with you some of the history that I've been able to dig up online. Dear Omar, my name is Emily and I'm a huge fan. I have been watching your videos on both your channels now for a while. I'm nine years old and I live in Texas. I love watching all your videos with my dad, especially the dumpster diving and scary haunted videos. I'm writing you this letter to tell you the backstory on the doll that is included in this mail. The doll is named Thumbelina, and I found her in my grandparents' garage inside an old wooden dresser. When I found her, I immediately started asking questions to my grandparents where she came from, and they looked at me like I was crazy. They did not know anything was inside the dresser. They explained that the dresser came from an old barn that was going to be torn down from the family farm. Apparently, the barn was owned by an old lady named Widow Doc. My grandma would not tell me the backstory for Widow Doc because it was inappropriate for children. My dad told me that Widow Doc was a very bad lady who went to prison for a bad crime. So obviously, this left me with a bunch of questions. Her real name was Maria Doc from Texas. My dad said if you search for her on Google, you can find out what she did. He won't let me read it. No one knows where this doll came from, but after having her for a week, I can tell you Thumbelina moves around, makes noises, and even sounds like she talks every once in a while. I asked my dad if Thumbelina could be haunted, and he told me that the fact that the doll came from Widow Doc's dresser 
it's probably very haunted. Obviously, it had freaked me out and I didn't want to keep her anymore. So give her to Omar. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? All right. My dad said that he would help me send the doll to you. I'm including this letter along with a picture of me, Thumbelina, before I ship her away. Hopefully, I will see her in one of your videos. I'd love to see if Patty could use her spirit box to find out where she comes from. I'll be watching all your videos. Love, Emily. Give me a kiss. As Emily requested, I think it's a great idea to do a spirit box oh, communication definitely. with this doll. Now, what I found online is a Widow Doc. She lived on a farm with her children, and I, I, I think she was I think she was a widow. I, I don't know. I, I didn't get to read too much into that. But there was a helper on her farm, mm -hmm. and she felt... This is her story, though. She felt like her life was in danger, and while the guy was sleeping there, she crept up on him and blew his brains out. Wow. With, I think it was with, I'm pretty sure it was with a shotgun. While she was in prison, and I mean, obviously they, they did their investigation. She buried this guy on her farm. After some time, they ended up finding his body buried on her farm, seven feet in the ground. They found her guilty. In fact, they were even sentencing her to death by the electric chair. Now, she didn't like that. She didn't like that she was being put to death. So, she she killed herself. That's all I heard, but I, I started doing a little bit more research. And when I found out why she, or how she killed herself, it, it was it's like, how can anybody do that to them themselves? Like, she starved herself. That's how she died. That's how she killed herself by wow. starving herself. It says she only ate three meals in like a month. And she lost over like a hundred pounds. She was just not eating. And that's how she that's how she killed herself. That was her goal. She did not want to be put to death. So she killed herself. Wow. And I don't know much about the story on this doll, but if it was in Widow Doc's dresser, it was obviously mm -hmm. a witness. True. You know? It to what had happened a lot of things you know i mean this we're talking i mean 1930s this is an old doll mm -hmm. real old doll now let's talk about since i've had this doll in my possession and i haven't mentioned this on any social media yet i'm probably going to mention it on an upcoming vlog but um i i haven't witnessed her moving around or anything just yet but i've been having very strange dreams and i haven't slept really well and I, I haven't even connected it to the doll until now because uh, just yesterday, after my football team lost, which is kind of bad luck right there anyways. <laughs> but anyways, that, that wasn't that wasn't it. Uh, you, you know, my, my two parents, mm -hmm. they flew away yesterday. No. And I was only able, I mean, if you follow me on social media, you know how much I love my parents. Like they mean everything to me. I've had these babies since, I mean, I, I fed them as babies. So I was, able to grab one of them I, I found one of them and the other one like the other one was the one that would talk all the time oh. i mean i have so many videos of her oh. saying give me kiss and uh, i know some people are gonna think i'm crazy but i believe that this doll caused that bad luck and the reason why i say that is from experience anytime i've come in contact with some haunted objects i've had things like that happen just real oddball bad luck you have i know a lot of you gave patty and i a little bit of hell last time we had a haunted doll at her house it was robert the doll you may or may not have seen that video doll brought a lot of bad luck to the both of us mainly me though car breaking down a lot of weird stuff if you've been following my videos you'll you'll know but yeah there's no kids here all right no kids are here tonight it's just patty and i the last time I mean, we did have her kids there and people were really upset about that so we decided to just to keep things safe plus patty's house this house is a lot safer than her previous house she just moved here how long has it been about five months about five months yep. okay so patty has bibles buried on the corners of her house like, this is a, a very protected sacred house she's got protection crystals she has Gary and Mike that are looking after her. She has God here. So if anything paranormal related were to happen to this doll, I think What the hell was that? Is there somebody here? No. The kids aren't here, right? No, but nobody's here.
Oh, that's... Oh. Yeah, that was... I don't, Did that noise come from in here? I don't, I don't think so. It sounded like it came from the living room or the kitchen. Ooh. What? Look. Oh, my God. What the hell? Wait, wait, wait. Did you have, like... Was was there, like, pans that... I mean, it's possible, but this has never happened in the whole five months I've lived here. I've never had a, a pan just... It was like an out. avalanche of pans or something. Yeah, I've never, ever had anything like this happen. Whoa, what are the chances of that? What were you talking about? I'm trying to remember what you were talking about. I was talking... I said that your house was protected. Oh, yeah, you did. Oh, my yeah. God. Well, you know what's crazy? Okay, remember when Lou Rock brought his man... It was like his the main... rock box? Yeah, the rock box. So, our friend Lou, shout out to my boy Lou... He has this device to talk to spirits. And remember, there was something here. It was almost like we were trying to do a spirit box with that. Yeah. And we heard a real EVP coming from this side of the kitchen. Yes, we did. And we thought it was Mike. I know. Yeah, it sounded like him. You think this was Mike? It's possible. Maybe trying, he's trying to get to our attention? Him. Maybe he's trying to warn us of something. Or do you think this is connected it to the doll? could be. It could very well be, Omar. Is this what made that noise, though? I guess it flew out. Yep, that's... It that sounded yeah. like pains. Now, see, that just sits in there like that. How, you know what I mean? How would all this happen? There's no way. Omar. I don't know. What I, kind of doll did you bring in my house again? I, <laughs> I don't think it's the doll. I think, I, you, I think you just had some stuff in your... You could very well Yeah. Be. You know how, like, you just have a bunch yeah, of stuff and... Now, this is a newly built house, and if you didn't know, here in the state of Florida, we do have sinkholes, and the house is still settling. Maybe this was an issue with the settlement. It's, it's possible. It is very possible. I'm not trying to always debunk. People get mad. I mean, I just, I try to look at all angles. You know, I mean, I'm not saying that this is not the doll. Right. It could very well be. We, it could be your doll. It could be my doll. It could be Mike or Gary trying to warn us. Or we, it could have just been an avalanche. That doll that you have. Okay, so Patty has a doll. What's her name? Beth. Beth. Beth has a story, too. Mm -hmm. And Patty's caught her moving on camera before. Yes. yes, I have. And, I mean, a lot of weird stuff like that. Maybe maybe she's jealous Ooh, of that doll. She probably is. Maybe that is what it is, Omar. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's take a look at it. Wasn't her hand moving at one point or something, too? Yeah, her head turned right around and looked at me. Oh, it was her head? Yeah, when I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to take her with me when I move to my new house. Oh, she didn't like her that, Her head huh? spun around and looked right at me. And it was caught on camera. You don't like Thumbelina, do you? Was that you, Beth? Beth, is there something going on with this doll that you need to let us know about? I'm going mm. to do something really ballsy. I got goosebumps right now. I don't. I don't know why, but I don't think this is a good idea. Hey, Beth, meet your little friend here. She's a lot older than you, though. Beth, is there anything you want to warn us about with this little doll? I know you love this family. I know you, think, you watch over us. You think she's looking out for us? I, th I think she is. I think she always has. Oh family. my God! What, dude? I, I just what? saw Beth's eyes move right Are you now. Freaking kidding me, Omar! I'm serious. It, it's almost like she like looked at the doll or something. Wait, are Oh my god, I just seen a move. Did, oh my god! Did you see that? Omar, I just seen that. I got the cold chill so freaking bad. Dude, her eyes are moving. Yo, that freaks me out. Yo, you stay in there. Oh my god. Which? Wait, has people in my live streams are always telling me that they that her eyes are moving? Move really? I just, see it. I just, I just, I just saw it. her eyes moving right me now. Too. I'm getting told all the time, her eyes move, her eyes move. And when I, I can't see because I'm looking at the camera. I got goosebumps right now. Like I'm, I just seen it too. I've never seen a doll's eyes move like that. She's upset about this. Something up with that doll. She's Usually like, doll's eyes will move like if you move. You know how like, but her eyes are like stationary, aren't they? They're painted they on. They don't move. They are stationary. Oh my God. <laughs> I've seen it. This is the first time I've seen her eyes. So you've seen it too. I'm not I've crazy, right? No. Yes, I've definitely seen it. And a lot of people have seen it on camera. Oh, I don't even want to see it. Beth? Are you okay? I don't think she likes this doll too much. Beth, are you okay? 
Are you mad? You know what? Maybe when you do the spirit box session, you can ask Beth if she's mad. Yeah. Too. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Oh, I got the cold chill so bad right now. I'm, I'm like shaking. <laughs> Those pans that scared the crap out of me. I think we're gonna stay in here because there's a lot of action yes. going on in here. Let's stay in here. It was almost like I seen her eyes move like that. Like they kind of did like a, oh, like it was hers? something. Yeah, like she was kind of like looking around. I don't know. Maybe she did that one time and they got stuck. Cause I've never seen a doll's eyes look like that. No, I've never, I've never have either. Wouldn't it be crazy if Beth's eyes get stuck like that? Oh, keep an eye. I mean, you guys, you, keep an eye. I didn't keep mean to say eye. that. No pun intended, right? No. <laughs> keep an eye on her. I have not used this spirit box in my house. Mike and Gary, please watch over this spirit box session. I'm asking for Archangel Michael to watch over this session and keep us safe from anything evil that could attach itself to me or Omar or my home or my family. Holy water right here, my cross. I'm using all the things that God put on this earth for us to use. God's jewelry right here, amethyst, a nice candle burning. I'm not trying to reach out to anything evil. I'm just curious about this doll and if there is anything attached to her we would love to hear from her we would like to know who you are that's attached um what the hell is that what the door's open what was the that, was it open i don't before? i don't even know i don't know i have to look at my footage okay Yo, there's a lot of weird like stuff happening just right here in this kitchen. I would like to know what is going on in my home. I am gonna sage this entire home tonight. Uh, I do have holy water and I, I, earlier I did go around each doorway and put a cross with holy water above each doorway of this home. I'm protected here. So uh, like I said, I'm not trying to reach out to anything evil. I just wanna know what's going on with this doll. What's going on with my doll Beth because her eyes moved. Beth, you can speak to us too. I feel nervous for some reason. So do I. I, I can I'm barely scared. even talk right. I'm like, feel like I'm not making much sense because I'm. I'm I think nervous. you're doing great. I you think, think you're so? doing great. I think we're just both really scared you right now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he, the, those pans flying out of that cabinet like that just really scared the crap out of me. So. No. I mean. And then the doll's eyes. I saw that. I can't get that out of and my And that was head. the first time you ever seen it move. Yes. I mean, I thought I saw the eyes move a few times when I would watch my lives back, but I saw her eyes move there. I know I saw it. Hello? What the heck was that? Who's with us? Gary and Mike, can you tell me if we have anything to fear with this doll? What? <laughs> Heather! <laughs> it sounded like your daughter Heather. I heard Heather. It's like a child coming through too. I think maybe it was... I think it was Gary trying to say hi to Heather or something. It was Heather's birthday. Maybe the doll's name is Heather. Maybe. What's the name of the doll if it's not Thumbelina? Was it Heather? Is it Heather? Yes or no? Oh, what the f was that? Oh! My God. oh! What, the f what the hell? Yo, I'm fing scared. Omar, I'm freaking out. I got the cold chills so bad. Oh my God. What the f was that? I don't know. It came from like over here. It did. It's like some sh started shaking in your house right now. Yo, I am 
I'm scared, like really bad right now. What was that? I don't know. I honestly don't freaking know. What? Did we turn her head? Oh, her head is turned. It's turned. That light hasn't worked in over a month. That light right there? Yes. It burned out a month ago. It's on. Oh my God. I got the goosebumps. My computer's in here freaking out. Was that your computer? Yeah, I just heard my computer making it. What? Yo, I just seen something did you fly. See that? Yes, I just oh saw something fly across your computer. Oh my, oh my, oh my god. Did you did yes. you get that on video? Yeah, I don't know, but I just seen something. Something just flew across your computer it did. screen. Something just flew right across here. I just I seen it. I seen it go like right here. So did I. You saw that? Yes. There's no bug or anything around here, is there? You don't have a oh screensaver or something, no, do you? I don't. Oh my God! What in the hell? Uh, did I about this? I want to go back and see if you caught that on your footage, because I, I saw like it was almost I like something, too. something moving like that. Something moved across there. I'm so sorry I even brought this doll. Oh my God. Have you experienced anything like that? No, here? never. I've never had anything like this happen in my house. Nothing. I'm like freaking out here. I mean, I'm not. I'm more afraid because I have to live here and my, my grandkids have to live here. Patty, I really what, didn't listen, think listen. Big of a deal with this doll. Uh, we're going to say some prayers. All right, we're going to say some prayers. I'm going to take that doll. I'm going to probably burn it or something. Okay. Um, I'm trying to figure out what that noise was because it sounded like it came from these pictures. It happened like right in front of us. It was like a. Was I it? almost thought that the pictures moved or something like that. So we, we do have a picture. There's Patty's son, Gary, and there's Mike. They, they both. Went to go be with the Lord. There's another picture of Mike. Um, I don't know. Maybe it sounded like something from over here. You thought it was coming from here? See, I thought I it sounded like it was coming from in there. From the closet? But I mean, you were on this side of the table. I don't know. I, I mean, I, it could have been the closet. Is she looking at something? It's like she's looking into the darkness. And the lights out now. Wait a minute. I think I turned it oh, off. Turned it I don't off. know. I don't. I don't know if I did. I. I did touch it, but maybe I didn't turn it off. Is everything okay here in my home? What's that? It's like something growling. Did you hear that? I didn't hear it. No. It was faint. I'm terrified right now. I am too. I'm freaking out so bad. I don't know if it's the doll or maybe it's your doll. I don't know. That's either. the thing. Is maybe maybe we sh maybe it's not a good idea to have two haunted objects in the same place. What? What happened to your spirit box? I don't know. It's like acting up. Beth? Can you talk to me, please? Talking. Is that what it said? I think. Beth, what's going on in my house right now? Can you tell me? Is it Heather the doll? Thumbelina? <gasps> what did that say? Girl? Widow Doc, are you here with us? Are you attached to this doll? Are you evil? I think it said now gone. Now gone? I think. Gary, was that you? Did you get rid of it? Yep, gone. What? I think that's what that said. I hope. Was it evil? Was it an evil spirit? Singer. 
Was that what that noise was we heard? Was it with you rustling it out of here? What the hell did I just say? I mean, it's possible, Omar. <laughs> what color shirt are we wearing right now? Dark. Dark. We're both wearing dark shirts. Are you mad that we have your doll, Mary? I'm mad. I think that just said I'm mad. What do you want us to do, Mary? Die? I can't wait to hear this stuff back. It's so much easier to make it out when I listen back on high definition. I think we're going to be okay with the EDPs. We got plenty there. Yeah. We, ha we have plenty of evidence to show that there is something... We're communicating with us. There is something attached to this doll. Oh! Oh, hell. Did she just fall on her own? I, I think I might have... Bumped her? Yeah, I might have maybe bumped... I don't, I, I don't know. I want to know what the hell that noise... What? Did you hear that just now? What was that? A chain rattle. A chain rattle? I hear noises in my house that I never hear. So I'm, that's why I'm, I'm so, so jumpy. Sorry. Look, look, we need to put some holy water on this thing, okay? Okay. Because whatever these noises are, it's connected to this. Can I? Yeah, go ahead and put some on it. Okay. Whatever evil is attached to this doll is not welcome in this home. It should be good. Don't use it all. It's hard to come by. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. She just needs a lot. Oh, I know. It's just, it's all right. I gotta get a priest to bless some more for me. When I was putting that holy water on right now? Yeah. I mean, I don't know how heavy water like that is, mm -hmm. but I could have sworn I saw her move. Really? I'm gonna have to go back on my footage, but it looked like she like kind of moved a little bit. Almost like she was resistant or resisting the holy water or whatever is attached to it. Just put a little around your neck area is what you're supposed to do, like the neck, the shoulders, stuff like that. Getting a holy water massage yeah, right now. Yeah, a holy water massage, put a little bit in his head. Thanks. But around the neck, you know, is what you're supposed to do. Watch over him. Yes, Don't please anything do. Anything attach itself to him. Please bring my bird back. Yes, please my bring his bird, bird back. bird flew away because of this doll. I really hope we didn't invite something evil. We're, we have to pray. I know. We definitely have to pray. Let me know here in the comments what what you guys think of this doll. I, I don't I don't think I'm going to get rid of it just yet. I'm definitely going to take it out of Patty's house. We're going to say a prayer. We're going to bless her home. We're going to sage her home, especially before her kids make their way back here. Yeah. Because we don't want anything evil being here. I, I've never seen Patty's house like this. I haven't either. And I mean, you can see she has crosses everywhere. Yes. I mean, it even, it even says up there, bless this home. Mm -hmm. You know, this home is blessed. So I don't want anything evil being yeah. here in my friend's house. I have this here even here. God bless our home and all who enter. I have this ready to pray right here. Yeah, we're not inviting anything evil here. We just so wanted to get some answers. Here. I think we got answers, though. I think we did. Oh, boy. Thumbelina, if that's your name. If there's anything evil attached to you, it is not welcome here. And I believe, based on those EVPs, that either Gary or Mike took whatever spirit and they drug it out of here. Yeah, I think so. I think that's what you heard in there. Because it sounded like a scuffle. Like something moving around. Maybe it was Beth's spirit that's attached to that oh doll in the spirit world. Because we were talking to her about it. And oh. oh, I know I get the gold chills. Yo, so I got bad. the chills so bad. We this were is. talking to her about it. And then we heard it. It sounded like movement in here. And then seeing something go across my computer. You, what? Uh, I've been I've been seeing a lot of weird things. So this is this is off camera, okay? So there there's a rose right here, and I watched this rose make a subtle movement. It was kind of like a you know it did it did one of these like a kind of like a I don't know it was something like that. Like this is a fake rose, obviously, but it it did kind of like one of these, 
and it was in the background, like in the corner of my eye that I caught it. And I told Patty about it, and she's like, hmm. Yeah, I've not seen or heard anything really here. Now, I didn't sleep well last night. I didn't now, either. You didn't? No, I didn't sleep good at all last night. Now, it's, I've read about this. Like, the spirit world knows tomorrow more than we know tomorrow, okay? So, they knew, our spirit guides and everything knew that we were going to be getting together tonight with these, these dolls. That might be why we didn't sleep. Maybe. And you know what? I wasn't even thinking too much. Like, Patty and I had planned this. Mm -hmm. I wasn't really thinking too much about right. it. Right. I wasn't either. I was just I like, you know, either. okay, we're going to, you know, it's just another day. We're going to yeah. make communication with this doll. I wasn't worried about it. We do this all the time. Like, yeah. it's not like it's something that's scary for us. But you're right. Maybe yeah. it was our spirit guides trying to prepare us. They might have been because I felt... As tired as I was when I laid down, I felt so wired. My brain was just, just like wide awake yeah. as soon as I lay down. And, and I was like that for like four hours straight. I laid there and couldn't sleep. And I kept thinking, why am I was so tired when I laid down to go to sleep? Why am I wide awake now laying here? Yeah. You know, it was weird. It was, re it was a, a different feeling than I've ever had before, actually. And it, it actually worried me. I'm thinking, is there something wrong with me? I mean, why do I feel like this? Like I just wanted to look around the room and I, I was doing this and I'm looking around. I got up, walked around the house several yeah. times and I'm like, what is wrong with me? Maybe it could have been your doll. Maybe warning me somehow. Uh, warning you like, you know, hey, look, you know, we haven't had this doll here very long. I'm going to take her. I'm not going to bring her to my house. I'm going to keep her in my truck. That's where I've been keeping her. Yeah, I definitely would because I mean, she should, you know, ooh, that light just blinked. I just seen that. Yeah, yeah. it's a light flicker. Um, maybe I mean I don't know when we release this video I, I'm, I'm gonna ask maybe we can ask you know your audience too like what they think we should do with this doll okay, you know yeah. should we perform some kind of saging on her should we burn her should we bury her should we drop her off in the middle of the ocean I mean I don't know I, I really don't know yeah I don't know either I have no license to sage right now yeah actually that's not a bad idea yeah but we, we need to prop properly dispose of this doll if it is evil um, I'm, I'm scared. Then again, I mean, nothing evil happened to us. I heard those chains too. I heard something. Yeah, that was, that was a little weird. I mean, it, it was a lot of weird stuff happening. We heard stuff happening in the closet, those pots and pans. There's nobody here. It's just, it's Patty and I and this doll. Like what the hell is happening in this house? Is it the house settling? Cause it's a newly built house. But I mean, you've lived here for a while. Have you heard like weird stuff happening no. like that? No, I mean, I have heard a couple little sounds in the kitchen, but nothing to make... Not pots and pans things. falling out of the yeah, cabinet, like though. That. I mean, I've heard, you know, little things like that. Um, or roses sound. moving. <laughs> but nothing that made the hair stand on the back of my neck the way all this stuff did. Oh, gosh. I haven't been scared like this in a long time. I, I make a lot of videos, and I mean, I get scared here and there, and I show some emotion, but... Like tonight, I'm going to bed legit scared. I'm probably not going to sleep much either based on what, what happened here tonight. And I'm sure Patty's going to be the same way too. Oh, yeah. Definitely saying my prayers tonight. What the heck, Emily? What, what did you share with us here? Where did this dog come from? You know what? I, I can't wait to go back and hear those EVPs. I'm sure we're going to find out a little bit more information. I'm making a concoction of six different types of protective sages. Well, I hope this doesn't piss her off. I mean, she did move when I threw holy water on her. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and say a prayer. I have a prayer pulled up on my phone here, so I'm gonna go ahead and say a prayer after everything we just experienced. I think it's a real good idea. God bless every corner of this house. May peace dwell within. Protect all that come and go, whether friend or kin. Bless every door and window pane and every ceiling and wall. Bless every closet, nook and cranny, crawl space or basement, bless it all. Bless the roof, the ground, surrounding, with your protective love and light. Hold us in your loving care every second of every day, in every way from early morning into sheltered night. Let all be in your complete perfection as you intended. Release all negativity into your confirmed light that is extended. We thank you and expect your miraculous intervention, clearing all and per purification, love, peace, and joy as divinely intended. Spirits of light, we appreciate and thank you for 
your time and wisdom. In the name of Jesus Christ, we command all spirits, energy, and entities in this place to return from whence it came. Whence or hence? <laughs> it came from and be bound to the confines of this location. You are not allowed to attach to us or our equipment or follow us. No. We ask that the Holy Spirit watch over this place and the people in it, cleansing this space with holy light, keeping evil at bay. We command all in inhuman spirits to go where Jesus Christ tells you to go, for he is who commands you. Amen. Mm, looks like the doll's looking right at you right now. Oh, it certainly does. Yeah. It's like... I know you ain't talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to burn some sage. I do have like five different types of sage in this in here right now. Okay. And I have one of those little sage burners. You ever seen these? It's like a disc. Never. Julie sells them. I'm actually kind of doing it wrong. I should have put this in first and then the sage on top of it, but I can maneuver it around. Oh, the disc is like yes, what Yes, it'll keep it going. You see how it's like little, little red sparks in there? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Isn't that neat? Seed you up, homie. Yes. So I'll put the seed right there on top of it. There you go. And it'll burn it. Now we have to keep relighting it. Did you hear something again? Did you hear Sound like oh, sound like something in here, like the chair moved or something. Yo, it's crazy that we've seen something on your computer screen. I know. I still can't get over that. Me and Omar have been talking about that for we took a little bit of a break and we were talking about this. We can't believe we both seen it. It it if I can kinda alright, like it went like this and then went we caught it like going over yes. here. And it just disappeared. What? Let me see something. Right. Let me see if it would have been a shadow. No. No, there was, okay. yeah, it, no. It was definitely on there. I was just making sure because we heard something in here. So it's no shadow. No. You see what I mean? Because I'm moving in front of it. There was something across the computer there. It was like a, a black mass. It, it like, was. Like one across your screen. Yes, it was. I've never seen So you did see that? Yes, I yeah. saw it too. I think we both seen it around the same time. I hope I got that. Across the bottom of my screen, and I hope we one of us caught it on camera. I hope I think you were closer. You might have. I hope so. I'm, I'm gonna zoom into that shot. We have quite a bit of footage in this video, and I do thank you guys for sticking around. If you stuck around to the end of this video, thank you so much. We appreciate you so much. If you haven't already, make sure to like the video. If you're watching my video and you haven't seen Patty's yet, go check hers out. She might have a little bit more details that I left out, so go check it out. I'll leave a link down below in the description. We're thinking about, and let me know if you wanna see this, Patty's thinking about doing a video where she's sleeping with her doll and seeing if she catches anything. She's gonna have her camera recording all night long, and I'm thinking about doing the same thing with Thumbelina, AKA, I think you should. Widow Doc. And set up a camera because... I've done that before. Like, uh, Patty, uh, have you ever... Yeah, you did a, a recording yourself. I did. I yeah. recorded myself sleeping in hotels, um, things like that. I've recorded my doll many nights, but nothing happens other than putting the video out. Imagine, like, an entire night, like, recording know, your doll. I've never done that. So you're you're going to catch something. So I'm going to set up about... I'm going to set up two cameras. One That's a good and, idea. You know... So yeah, let me know if you want to see something like that and let us know what we should do in the future with with that doll. So, what? Omar, please tell me you moved this doll's head like this. Please tell me you did that. You moved her. I, I haven't even you been haven't near this. Her. No, I haven't been near this closet. She was looking into the closet. You did not touch her. Oh, uh, maybe I did. I don't know. You, I don't remember. I don't think you did though. I'm just, but I'm hoping you're t gonna tell me that you did. I mean, oh, but look at her. She's like looking up. She was looking into the closet. <gasps> oh, oh my! God. I was off. Oh damn. Oh! Oh, it came on. Look! Look at this. Oh my god. What the f 
is going oh, on? Oh my god, I don't know, but oh my god, I'm gonna tell you right now, that light burn Oh wow, my camera just died. Her camera just died right what? now. What? Do you need a new battery? It just died. Oh, it's wait, I don't know. Let me see. That's yeah. Weird. It it's died. It's the battery, yes. I need a new battery. Oh my goodness. Now that now light's off. Light's the, the, uh, whoa. Yeah, it was so like my camera died right around the time that light started blinking. It just drained. I got that on video. Yeah. So hey, I'm gonna go ahead and let you go. Yeah. Thank you so much for being a part of this video and this investigation. Gotta go for now before they even get started.